Good morning everyone. How you doing today? Sherman here with Gardening for Fun. And just want to do a quick update on the indoor indoor growing I was doing. Uh, if you realize you saw the other couple videos, I had some kale over there where these new seedlings are. And uh, where these pineapples are, I had some lettuce. And where the tomato was, well I still had that tomato. Uh, let me just explain to you what happened. Um, I showed you in the last video I had some aphids. Well, I thought I got them off. They didn't. They were ravaging everything. So what I did was I took all the, uh, those cold weather, you know, the kale and the lettuce. They can grow outside anyway. And I only got a limited amount of space here. So I just took them outside, really cleaned them out thoroughly and put them in some new uh, things I've been working on out there. Um, <clears throat> I think they're going to do really well. I'll give you a look at that. But what I talk, want to talk about a little bit is these pineapples. Um, now these started just from, this actually started from one pineapple, uh, from the store. And we look a little bit yellow tip now because I actually let them out in some really cold weather. But these were in the aquaponic system before I did the change. And I wanted to keep them growing aquaponically. Uh, but just making the changes, I just really couldn't. Now they're going to go back out there in it. And I think I'm going to keep them straight in these buckets just like this. So when cold weather does come, I can, uh, bring them inside without no ill effects. Just pull them out the system and bring them on in. And hopefully, I can get these things to produce aquaponically. Right now, they're just getting a little help from hydroponics. But, nevertheless, they're doing pretty well. Um, <clears throat> a little thing about this tomato. If you guys were looking at it before, you noticed that it was doing pretty, pretty bad. Now, it's starting to make a nice little comeback. But one thing I noticed, same thing I talked about a little bit before on the, uh, the CFL lights down there. How the 2700K was growing the kale. A lot better than the uh, than the um, <clears throat> 6500K. Well, look at here. If you notice this side of the tomato, let me zoom in on that. It may take a little bit of time for this to zoom in and out. There you go. You notice how all the leaves and then the right side of the plant is higher and the left side looks a little stunted? Well, it was the same thing here. I had a 6500K bulb on one side and a 2700 on the other and the 2700 just looked like the growth was going a tremendous amount better um, so hopefully I can get this little tomato to do good and also here on the, some of these seedlings I'm going to be planting inside here just some more experiments you know me hopefully get something to fruition but I've got a few cucumbers down there a couple of pineapple tomatoes and some beans and some peas and, and some celery some of that stuff I'm going to put outside um, I got some seeds from a place. I bought a bunch, but I tell you, they have not been very good as far as germination goes. But uh, that's another story for another video. Anyways, so there you have it, guys. Indoor grow room. Uh, well, I wouldn't call it a grow room. Laundry room with a board in it. How about that? But uh, anyways, oh, you know, as far as the crack in DWC, when it comes to uh, growing greens, you know, the cracky works awesome. I don't think I'm ever going to put a stone to it. That's why I'm just going to set them outside when it's nice and cold. No electricity. Hook the stuff up in there. Keep growing the greens that way. And I am going to try to grow some fruit and plants. We'll see. You know, I had a lot of people say, well, listen, if without the without the air, the greens aren't going to do as well. But I tell you, I can hardly distinguish any difference. So there you have it. Appreciate you guys watching. You guys have a great day. And uh, don't forget to subscribe or leave me some comments. You know, there's a lot more guys that are a lot more experienced than I am. I'd love to hear what you got to say. I'm rather new to all this liquid gardening, <laughs> hydroponics and whatnot. Uh, not that new, but I'm learning a lot. Anyways, guys, y'all have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.